Hi everyone, I'm Ali Grayman. I'm the founder of the Grayman Method, as well as one of the first original coaches to be helping people to fully recover from OCD. After a thousand videos, 15 years of experience, my message is still remaining the same. You can fully recover from OCD. I recovered, my clients recovered, and you can fully recover too. Today I wanted to talk about a question I get asked often. Will my OCD thoughts be gone after recovery? So look at it this way. Let's say a person is driving in the car. They don't have OCD. They're driving the car. They don't have OCD. They get an intrusive thought, which every human being on planet Earth gets, of uh, what if I uh, swerve the car and kill everybody? What does that person do? So this is a person who doesn't have OCD. They'll say, hmm. That's silly. And they move on. Versus a person who's about to develop OCD or has harm OCD, they'll be like, oh my God, why would I have these thoughts? What does this mean about me? Let me ruminate. Let me then Google and Reddit. And the person starts to ruminate. They get overwhelmed. Their anxiety goes through the roof. Versus the person who never had OCD, they wouldn't even tell you that they had that thought because they don't even remember having it a minute later. You see the difference? So intrusive thoughts are normal. They happen to everybody. There was one study that showed that people with OCD and people without OCD have very similar thoughts. It was just that people with OCD take them seriously while people without OCD just forget about them. 70,000 thoughts a day. People get somewhere between of, I think it was 40 to 70,000 thoughts a day. If you Google 70,000 thoughts, you will, uh, you will see that study. So people get a lot of random thoughts, but people who don't have OCD just forget about them and don't take them personally versus people with OCD. They remember them, take them seriously, ruminate and do all of this compulsion behavior. So after recovery, you become like everyone else where thoughts may come in on all kinds of weird topics but you won't even acknowledge them. Of course, they'll give you zero anxiety and it will be a very rare occasion when they're coming in. So it's not going to be um, all the time. And it depends on the theme as well. So for example, uh, themes such as um, um, magical thinking. If I pick up this cup, something bad is going to happen to somebody because I had a bad thought, right? That's going to be fully gone. Um What's another one? Um, uh, this is this is a red spot. Maybe I will get HIV from it. That's going to be gone. So those types of thoughts, you will most likely will never experience them again. Um, now, if we take something that's um, relationship OCD, how do I feel about my partner? Anybody on planet Earth had those thoughts. Um, so those thoughts will from time to time come in because you're a normal human being but they will not give you distress and you will experience them on the same level that any other human being experiences it. So, uh, but compare that to, for example, uh, HOCD thought. What if I'm gay, right? Those thoughts will just not come in anymore, right? So that's kind of the difference. I hope this overview explains what you can expect and what normalcy is in terms of intrusive thoughts. If you have any more questions, if something was unclear, um, let me know in the comments below. I will be back tomorrow with another video. If you would like to do one-on-one -on -one recovery program with me or just book a one-time talk, all the information is on youhaveocd.com.